Among the 109 different centers, seven centers are very important. First is base of the spine, the sacrum. That's where the energy starts in your body. If you talk to an osteopath, chiropractic, they'll all say sacrum, very important. The craniosacral fluid, the cranium is your brain and then the brain fluid flows all along the spine and to the sacrum. So sacrum is the first point. And then the second center is behind the genital. The third center is in the navel region near the solar plexus. If you do meditation, your solar plexus becomes better, bigger. This is called also the midbrain. Half of the work of the brain in this does what solar plexus does. So for yogis, solar plexus is bigger. Others it's smaller. So if you meditate, this is expanding. And this expands, there is stability, there is joy, there is confidence, there is comfort, all those things come. And then fourth is just heart check. Here from Muladhara, from the base of the spine, 12 inches comes navel. This is more important. Of course, sex center is also important, but it's important only in the middle age. <laughs> from teenage to middle age only. Afterwards, it loses its um, significance. For the children, sex center is not so important, not also in the aged person. But navel center is important throughout, from the birth to the death. Food. Right? From there 12 inches your heart, from there 12 inches throat, from here 12 inches in between the eyebrows, from here 12 inches. So these are seven points. Now Shiva says attention, taking your attention from one to another chakra, you will start feeling the energy shooting from one to another. In this movement of energy, you experience inner space and you experience the bliss of the inner space. When we take our attention to any one point, one chakra, first you don't see anything, you don't feel anything, you just feel the blankness. As you continue in the blankness, you will start feeling sensations, some vibrations, sensations. So three stages here. First is just blankness. Second is some vibration, sensation. And the third stage is light or energy. Full manifestation. That is little advanced stage. Right now, just take your attention there and do nothing. Just relax. Some thoughts may come, some experiences may come. Whatever comes, you just let them come. Shiva says, you have 109 chakras in your 108 in the body, one above the body. Our subtle body ends at the 12th inch. Our body is like the wig of a candle and the glow is all around. See, 20 years back or 50, 25 years back, if we had spoken about biometrics, people would say it's a nonsense. Today you know about biometrics, right? Only your thumb can open your iPad, only your touch can open your cell phone, right? That means each one of you have unique energy, unique stream of energy. And our mind is nothing but energy, our mind is all around us. When the mind shrinks, that is when we feel sad, depressed, unhappy. What is the sensation that is associated with happiness? When you see someone very close to you, what happens to you? Something expands, right? And you are blamed, you are insulted, what happens to you? Something in you shrinks. What is this something in you that shrinks, that expands? That is your consciousness, that is worth knowing. 
You know what why people commit suicide? Because the subtle body the mind is shrinking. They don't know how to expand it. And you put tablets all this antidepressant and body swells but mind keeps shrinking. Appear to help for some time but then Suppose your jacket is too tight what do you want to do you just want to take it off get out of the jacket right this is exactly what happens in depression and suicidal tendency the mind is shrinking and you just don't want to have this body you want to get out of the body the body is too tight but through pranayama breathing sudarshan kriya meditation what happens mind expands The mind expands in its when it reaches the twelfth inch, you feel normal. If it is bigger than that, you feel happier, and it goes even bigger, you are blissful. So all this strengthens our bio energy. Every night when you sleep, what is happening? Your subtle body is expanding. It's in touch with your. causal body which is even bigger so when you come out from there you feel very energetic because your mind has found its expansion so if you are highly stressed your mind does not know how to relax even how to sleep to get into the higher self so ancient days people knew this that's why this 12 inches is very important the kings were put a crown there All the priests they put this. Why? Twelve inches. All gods, goddesses, they have this also. So the twelve inches above our head is called Dwada Shanta, the twelve inch, end of the twelve inch. And most of the chakra is at the gap of twelve inches. There is twelve inches from throat to in between eyebrows. From there to top of head. It's again twelve inches. From here to chest is twelve inches. From here to navel is twelve inches. So if someone is sleeping, you don't have to shake them to wake them up. Be- below twelve inches, you do something like this. They'll wake up, eh? <laughs> Wind, string, or percussion. any of this instrument when you pay attention to it fully at the end of it the mind dissolves but we don't know how to listen to music i tell you we keep playing the somebody is playing the music we keep talking we are not listening to music like in a meditative space we are not listening to music to create a space within us we are listening to music to occupy our mind and music without words should be even better words keep your brain engaged your left brain engaged activated but string instrument or flute instrument in a very meditative even piano would do for that matter listen to it for few minutes and then shut it down this is also a technique that says you through the music and then you create the inner space and just enjoy the space within it should not be too many instrument too many things at one time then it keeps us active keeps the brain active it has to be one small thing even in different sounds has different impact on different parts of the body You know why some people like the hard rock it activates the first chakra the base chakra hard rock big drums so if you are dull it doesn't allow you to be dull it just pushes you up then you come to the navel center then it is the string instrument guitar something much lighter string instrument have an impact on the navel chakra and then you go further up in the heart it's a flute instrument subtler you go higher up 
you get even more subtler and subtler and subtler instruments. And in the head, bell, little jingle bell, jingle. You know, when a child has to go to bed, you put a rock music, a child cannot sleep. In the temple in India, you will see how these instruments are organized. There used to be seven gates in the temple. Outermost, they will have these big drums. And then as you go inside, inside there is a gong. And then you go deep inside, it's only bell and a conch. And if you enjoy silence, even small noise looks heavy for us. So, but to enjoy silence, these are all the ways. First, the bass ones just wakes you up. And then big horns and big, big instruments. Then you go further, further, string instrument, the flute. And then finally, bells. So for someone who is meditating, who is very sensitive, the rock, big sound is very jarring. But people who are restless and depressed, they find it happy, joyful, because it just pushes them out of it. It has a purpose. So more refined you are, you like piano music. Piano is almost like the bell or the conch. And subtle ones, subtle ones, subtle ones. And move from the sound to the inner space of infinity, your meditation app.